Alrighty then. <laughs> you guys ready to do a little bit of metal detecting today, man? So uh, I had plans today. Today is Sunday. I really wanted to get down to like a bigger beach, but unfortunately I kind of got stuck at home, man. And uh, yeah, so I figured instead of just chilling at home today, I would at least ride the old faithful down to our old local park down here and at least put the old six inch coil to work. So that's what I'm going to do today, baby. See if we can snipe out something over here, huh? All right, this one sounds a little bit better than my previous ones have. <laughs> sounds kind of like more of a tight tone. It's reading up a 39 on the target ID. Let's check them out real quick. Probably going to be my first coin of the day. Learning and experimenting with the legend. Yep, there she is right there, man. First coin of the day. Let's keep it up. All right, so I was messing around with pitch tones and honestly, I think right at the moment for the park, I'm liking just six tone mode better. Keeps it really nice and simple. You can kind of distinguish between uh, the foil and stuff a little bit better, but let me see here. This one's a 25, 26, so definitely has the potential to be good. I did bring a couple of things with me that I meant to show you in the beginning beginning of the video, but I want to pull out real quick with the legend and just test them out real quick. Uh, give me one moment, please. Let's pull out this pull tab or a nickel real quick. Where are you at, little buddy? All right, not too shabby, man. I'll take that over a pull tab. It's just about any day of the week, huh? Oh. That one's actually a 1960 on the head, 1960. All right, while we're down here, right here on this plug, let me bring out what I brought with me to show you guys today. The reason I brought this stuff with you is kind of just to show you on the legend a very small sample size of what some potential gold can read up as. I've done this before, like on the simplex back in the day. I even like to do this for myself, kind of, to remind myself why like, I'm digging these type of signals sometimes. So um, these are just some rings that I found over the course of my metal detecting time. I will show you, though, one that you guys have not seen before that I just found probably a little bit over a week ago. I was out uh, near a beach down a little bit south of me in the water with the Equinox. And let me tell you guys... I thought it was a little bit of a scare at first. I didn't think that uh, it was real, but I got me a golden ring, baby. <laughs> so uh, this one, obviously, if that diamond was real in that thing, I just about crap my pants. This thing almost looks like slightly cheaply made, but I put it under some test acid and it held 14K. So I have a 14 karat ring right here. And this one's got kind of a weird like wavy shape to it. It's not really uh, perfectly circular like some of like your wedding bands and stuff are out there, you know? But then I also have two of my old faithful test subjects here. Look at that. And the thing about this thing though is like the tone on it, it's giving me an okay tone, but it's higher than a pull tab. It's reading right there like 27 to 31. So I don't know if you were completely new to the legend and you've dug up a couple pull tabs, you might be skipping over signals like that, you know, but that's definitely one that I want to be digging up, man. So that one's reading high 20s, low 30s on the target ID. Now let me step it down one. The thing about gold is though, this this test, uh, this size right here, this is only a very small sample size of like what gold could possibly read up as, you know? So just because there's three rings here and they read three specific numbers or three sets of numbers doesn't mean that all gold's gonna sound like that. So let's bring out this one now. This is a smaller gold ring. And usually the smaller gold rings, I have not found too many chunky ones. Actually, this is, I think, the chunkiest gold ring that I have found. So the chunkier the gold, usually the higher up it will read. But as soon as you start getting into little thin bands like this, let me show you what starts to happen. So you put that thin band there right on top. Now let's see what he reads up as. 
So check that thing out now. 24, 23, 24. Pretty solid on 23, but I think even because of the shape of this thing, it's a little bit funky. It's kind of gonna bounce from like 22 up to 24. So again, we're getting a little bit lower on the scale there. That one's a 14 karat gold ring. And last but not least, let's test out this little bugger right here. See how low this thing reads up as, man. I'm pretty sure this is just a 10 karat gold earring. I don't think it's 14 karat, but I honestly forget, so. I'm put him just kind of on his side right there a little bit of an odd position and you got to think the thing about like jewelry too is like it's the shape that determines what it will sound like in a way too it's not just the carrot of the gold or what metal it's made out of so here's the gold earring it's reading up a 1516 so even lower there you know and the thing about this, this isn't the smallest piece of gold you could find. You could find even smaller gold than this or gold that's potentially of a higher carat that could read even lower maybe or read higher. It's just, I feel like there's no uh, telltale way or, you know, sure way to, you know, call out a piece of gold or whatever. You just kind of got to keep an open mind and know what the gold can potentially read up as. So... Yeah, with that one being said, I'm gonna get back into the hunt, man. That was probably a little bit too long, but I just kinda wanna bring it out here, show you guys, anybody who might be new to the legend, what you might want to consider be uh, digging up, you know? Maybe if you're in a field of scrap, you might want not wanna dig up every single signal like this, but you know, keep it, keep an open mind on it. Keep an open mind, that's what I wanna say. Kind of a funky one over here. Kind of sounds like a coin, I think. Oh, wait a second. I don't think that's no American I've ever seen, man. Um, I think that might be a Canadian. Yes, it is. Look at that. Alrighty then. That's pretty good. You sound a little bit funky, but I'll take that, man. Something a little bit different. Always puts a little bit of pep in my step, man. <laughs> it's kind of a messy plug there. The Florida plugs, though, even if you mess them up, they're like really easy to fix smash that dirt down and then you pretty much just fluff that baby out <laughs> it's hard to go wrong digging a florida plug man Ugh. you can always go wrong though this thing sound funky right there come here little pinpointer high tone right there uh, penny signal right there and then just kind of a weird one right here it's a 23 sounds a little bit different man it's in the clump I think what the heck is it I don't see it man uh oh I think it just fell out probably There it is, man, the little one. Um, I think it's probably a lighter flint wheel, maybe. That'll be my first guess, man. A little piece of some scrap. What else we got? Definitely, probably a coin right in here. Pop this little guy out too, see what we got in here. Woo wee! Definitely ain't getting no cooler in Florida. <laughs> I 
There it is right there. A nice little dime to add to the collection, man. I think he is a, uh, he's a 1979, so 10 cents up, baby. I know when I first got the legend, I was talking about, uh, I wonder how many dimes it's gonna take to pay off this baby. I've probably gotten at least 100 dimes so far. This one sounds interesting. It's kind of giving me like pull tab numbers, but I think it sounds smaller than a pull tab. So what could that be? Another like uh, lighter flint wheel? Yep, look at that. I was just going to call it, dude, and look, it's right in the root. It's attached on the root there. <laughs> it's another piece of uh, lighter, I think, there. So we're on the scrap, man. <laughs> There's no denying we're on the scrap. Look at that perfectly pop plug, man. He's right in the clump. Don't you love it when that happens? What you got for me, buddy? Seems like I'm getting into like the 60s and 70s coins over here a little bit though. That's a 1968 copper penny. There's definitely some Zinkins around here, but uh, I don't know. I guess there could be something else, right? There's always the chance to be a silver or gold doubloon. Spanking out the coins over here, baby. Another copper penny, too. Another 1968D right there. So uh, we're continuing to get on like the 60s coins over here. Can we get a 60s dime, maybe? 1964. All right next to that plug, we got another high tone, man. <laughs> I'm just in a power digging kind of move. Sorry if the video is a little bit subpar. There's another one right there. Look at that. Popped right out, man. Pretty sure he's a copper. He just made it though with the 1981. <sighs> I'm trying to find something good, but it's not always that easy, man. You just gotta dig, right? Just keep digging. Wait a second. What is this? <sighs> I don't know what the heck that is. Almost looks like a little like metal stud. Sometimes you find them on like belts. I don't know. Definitely some junk. Some junkity junk, baby. Please tell me it's a nickel and not just another forsaker. Not just another I dig Daytona dream squasher. Not just another beaver tail. <laughs> Please. I mean, I'd really prefer as the golden ring, but uh, can't really be too picky, huh? There she is, baby. <laughs> it is, man. Just a nickel. Alright guys, this is actually a really odd one that I've never really gotten a signal quite like this, I don't think, on the legend. It's reading up to 55, man. Definitely an odd one. It almost sounds kind of like a coin size object too, so... Let's see, is it just fooling us? It definitely could be. Let's see what the heck it's gonna be. Big piece of aluminum or something? Come on, baby. It's right here, whatever it is. Oh, wait. Oh, really? Really? 
Ultra green quarter, huh? Alrighty then. <laughs> That's not quite what I expected, but wait. No, he's not. There's no way it's a silver quarter. He would not be coming out green like that, I don't think. I thought I saw 1951 on there for a second, but... All right, so that's interesting why he was reading up so high. Let's uh, swing back over this hole real quick. Okay, wait. I got some more funky signals down in here. Is it a coin spill, baby? <laughs> it might be. Wait. Come on, is it double quarter? That would be really nice. It is, dude. There she is. Look, look how green that one is, too, though. Holy moly, man. He's been down there for a little while, huh? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure the date, but that's pretty good. Oh, look, look, look. A third, dude. Three freaking quarters in one hole. That is what's up. Wait, don't tell me. I think I might have another one. That is what's up, man. Usually, like, it's hard to come by those even at the park, you know? So that is the third. Let me see if there's a fourth in this baby. I have another signal, but I don't know if it's a quarter. I also, I don't know if you guys were here. I, somebody approached me and said that they lost their key fob out here. So that's something we'll have to keep an eye open for, man. They gave me their phone number, their name and everything. So if we find us a key fob out here, I do know, I or I do believe I know who it belongs to. So. <laughs> Pretty good, man. Three quarters in one hole right there. That's what's up. You just gotta swing over it, you know? Let's see. Okay, now there's like a lower signal right there too. We may as well get it, huh? Kinda sounds like iron though. The ferro check is, uh, it's really scratchy. There she is. Makes sense, some type of a bolt. <laughs> bolt with the spring on it, man. <laughs> um, Guys, wait a second. I think, is this a freaking target? I think this is a target, dude. <laughs> I thought for sure it was gonna be like another penny or something. I think we actually have like a little charm or something, man. Hello. Yo, what the heck is that? It's a little dude. It's legitimately a little dude running, man. It honestly kind of looks shiny. <laughs> is it freaking silver? That would be sweet, actually. Um. Yo, that thing is actually super cool. <laughs> it was sounding scratchy. Let me try to put it back on the plug and ring back over it. I don't think that I caught it completely live. But definitely looks like a little dude running, man. And honestly, it looks like it's shining up pretty good. I'm over near like just an odd spot. I'm over by like a wall. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Swing back over this baby, see what it reads up as. And tell me if you guys think it's silver. So it's reading up a 33, which is kind of high. So I don't know, it's very small and the shape is weird. So um, I don't know, usually like if I find junk jewelry though, if it's been sitting in the ground, it would be super corroded by now, you know? But that thing does not look very corroded. And that thing's cool, honestly, even if it's silver or not. It's a little, definitely unique, man, right? Can you guys see him? <laughs> so I don't know if he was supposed to be a pendant or I have really no idea what the heck it was supposed to be, but I remember I was over in this spot too. I thought I hit this spot pretty good like a few weeks ago. I think I was using maybe the Vanquish over here or something, but apparently not, man. You just never know. <laughs> you just gotta dig up the signals, man. So I think honestly, that's probably a good target to end this video off on because I was getting a little bit discouraged. I was honestly probably gonna head out soon anyways, but we got definitely a good amount of coins. This, this coil is perfect for like modern park coin shooting, you know, coin shooting and jewelry picking because 
like for me at least when i'm hunting at a modern park the the best thing i can do is recover the targets fast you know and that that coil definitely helps me do that so all these coins were out from were for out <laughs> all these coins were from out here today there's not a crazy amount of them but we got almost a dollar coin spill in the same hole and we at least got a little piece of jewelry got like a canadian coin some bits and bobs uh all my pull tabs and junk are in a different pouch but i don't think i pulled too too many of them today i was definitely trying because i wanted to you know get the, at least the chance at some gold but you know how it goes we got a pouch full of scrap too so anyways uh yeah with that one being said if you guys enjoyed this little legend hunt give this video a thumbs up for our little runner man there huh if you don't give it a thumbs up he might show up at your house <laughs> i'm just kidding but uh when i get home i'm probably gonna test him out see if he's silver so uh yeah i'll let you guys know eventually whether it's the next video or what that little bass pendant i found out here at the park though that thing did end up being silver so that thing that was probably one of my coolest pieces of jewelry in a while but uh yeah anyways enough blabbing thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed the video i'm sure you know what to do by now right look it up with the thumbs up for me baby and uh yeah with that one being said uh, I'm going to dig this little piece of scrap up and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one, huh? So, uh, yeah, just stay optimistic out there. Stay in a positive mindset. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon.